Dmitry Medvedev, let's not capture the NATO soldiers, let's kill them. If NATO members fight in Ukraine, they should not be captured. The maximum reward should be set for each killed soldier of the alliance countries and their bodies should not be handed over. Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev wrote about this on the V-Contact network. Medvedev noted that NATO has made statements about the lack of plans to send troops to Ukraine. Separate units can enter Lviv and Kyiv region to provide for the Ukrainian army and perform only economic and organizational functions. Former Russian president said that bounties should be offered for the killing of NATO soldiers if they are deployed to Ukraine to fight against Russian troops. Medvedev lashed out at Kiev's Western backers, arguing that they are taking the world for fools if they believe that sending foreign forces to Ukraine would not lead to a dangerous escalation. If NATO soldiers do end up in Ukraine, they will not be limited to non-combat roles, he claimed. They will become part of the regular forces that are fighting against us. That is why they will have to be treated only as the enemy, Medvedev wrote. We should take no prisoners. The highest rewards must be given out for every killed NATO soldier. Russian businessmen and activists have previously set bounties for the destruction of Western-made tanks in Ukraine. The idea of having NATO boots on the ground in Ukraine was repeatedly floated by French President Emmanuel Macron, who argued that all options are possible. He stressed, however, that Paris has no such plans. During a rare phone conversation between defense chiefs, Russian defense minister Sergei Shoigu warned his French counterpart Sebastien Lecornu that sending French troops to Ukraine would have disastrous consequences for Paris. Moscow has repeatedly warned that deploying NATO troops to Ukraine would put the bloc on the brink of a full-blown conflict with Russia. President Vladimir Putin warned earlier that it would be one step shy of a full-scale World War III. Clashes between French and Russian troops in Ukraine. General reveals scenario. Reserve Major General Viktor Yahun, the former Deputy Chief of the Security Service of Ukraine, commented on the statements by France about the possibility of sending its troops to Ukraine. This is a completely different level. Two years ago, there were discussions about whether to give us heavy weapons and artillery. As a result, they only talked about cartridges, ammunition and reconnaissance drones. There was no talk of tanks and the Patriot systems on the guard of our cities. We very quickly got used to the good for some reason. Everyone forgets what was our means when we were fighting at the beginning of the full-scale war and what the situation is now, he said in an interview with Glavred. He also stressed that Ukraine is running out of Soviet weapons. Perhaps this is not very good, but we've engaged all the stocks of such weapons from Europe and several other countries. I wonder what the situation will be on this issue in a year. French troops have already faced the Russians in Africa. There are already geopolitical consequences, but a clash in the European theater of war is another matter. The level of relations between Russia and France and sanctions against the Russian Federation will be completely different. The reaction to the potential death of a small French unit on the battlefield will be seriously different. Yahun added, answering a question about the likelihood of a clash between French and Russian units on the battlefield. The French Parliament still considers sending its troops to Ukraine a possibility, states the President of the National Assembly of France, Yael Bron Pivot. Bron Pivot commented on previous statements by French President Emmanuel Macron and said that everything remains possible. In his statement, the President of the Republic said that he does not rule out anything, a priority in the position that French has demonstrated, demonstrates and will demonstrate until the end of the war, until victory, nothing is exclusive, everything remains possible. I will not further interpret the president's words, this position is clear enough, she emphasized.